exactly that. Um, you know, I was at the the, the last round um, when England beat Senegal, and, and the questions immediately after that game for Gareth Southgate were all about Kylian Mbappe. How do you stop him? You know, what kind of player is he? Um, and you know, we've seen tonight that he didn't really impact the game. It was interesting. The one player that Gareth Southgate did pick out after that Senegal game was Griezmann, who's had those two assists, and the, the second one in particular is wonderful. Um, and I'm sure that you know South, Gareth Southgate will, will have planned for for this for for the week. The problem is with France; it isn't just one player. These are world class players. They're world class players all over the pitch. Um, and on this big stage, you know, it only takes one chance. And France are taking it. You know, Griezmann with that ball into the box, and, and Giroud doing what he's what he's made a whole career out of. Um, you know, it's England love to to build up these players like Kylian Mbappe before games, and and you know, worry about him, fear him. You, you've got to worry about the, the entire French team because you know maybe they're, they've got a tad lucky tonight, but they're a fantastic side. Yeah, they really. Do you know what? It's funny, isn't it, Gabby? When you talk about Antoine Griezmann, it's a player we followed so long, uh, for so many years, and the whole story that we we talked about him in La Liga, we've seen him at Atleti, at Barcelona, but he does come up big in this French side, and I think sometimes he can be a bit of an unsung hero for them. He's just such a hard worker always, and that's something that we've seen historically with him. I mean, looking at this one now, and looking how France go ahead, obviously it's going to be up against Morocco. Do you have a favourite when we come to the final four of, of the two that will be going on to progress from what we've seen? I fancy I fancy Morocco against this French side. I really did not think that their performance was solid by any means today. I think uh, Morocco will like their chances against this French back line. Kane won that battle with Upamecano on the back line. Speaking of Mbappe, he was quiet. He was integral in that first goal, Shouameni, uh, before the ball actually gets to Griezmann. It's all Mbappe there. Uh, so I, I will say that, of course, this is the, one of the best players in the world that we're speaking about. But Antoine Griezmann, I think, is going to be a key player that Morocco are obviously going to have to keep their eyes on. Uh, it was a big match for Griezmann, just as you alluded to, Kay. Uh, he actually surpassed both Thierry Henry and Zizou, now has 28 assists for the French national team. But I think that Moroccan fans are, are watching this match, just like I said in the opening statement, and I think that they like their chances. Uh, this French back line are going to have to really tighten up if they're going to stop Moroccan's counterpress. The one-touch passes that we saw uh, rip through the Portuguese national team today, uh, that's coming at France next, and I fancy Morocco's chances. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.